Well, let's talk about Andrade. Well, Andrade got his release. So what do you think? I don't know what to think. I mean, he wanted out. He wants out. So, I mean, it's it's an interesting time. Did you, did you hear what JR said about it? I did not. So he, he you know, it's basically um, his mentality was that we're in a pandemic, and if you're getting a guaranteed contract, you should be happy with it. And obviously, Andrade's not happy sitting in catering and doing nothing when he's 31 years old and... You know, he wants to be a big star and he's not doing anything. It's going to make you very frustrated. And money's not everything. But there's, you know, again, what JR said is not particularly wrong either. Um, I mean, it's in the sense of the mentality of the guy. Of course, it's going to, you know, Andrade's going to have the mentality that he does have. Um, but it's, it's, um, I mean, it's like Andrade's got places to, you know, he'll, he'll have, he could go any, literally anywhere, I think. Um, but, um, you know, it's like, what, what is there? Like, like he go to CML and be the top guy, but CML is not really running anything. And there's probably no money there. You know, everybody there is working other jobs right now, trying to make ends meet. He could go to New Japan, you know, to, uh, Taki, Taka, Taka, Taka Aki Kidani loves uh, him, so he could go back to New Japan. They, but again, it's one of those things where where what's their budget like? And then there's AEW, and I don't know what the situation there is as far as you know. They've been hiring so many guys. There's got to be a limit on how many guys that they can hire. I mean, in a perfect world, uh, do you bring him in with uh, Thea Trinidad? Absolutely. That's they were a great act in NXT. There's no reason they 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 could have been a great act in. WWE, if they were allowed to be, um, I mean, you're, you're kind of getting like a, a, a polished, very good act handed to you, and that rarely happens. But there's a lot, there's so many good wrestlers in this business right now, and, and AEW, it's like you can't sign everyone. They already have too many people for their television, for the amount of television that they have. So I don't know what the mentality would be, and and I don't, I presume he's on a. 90 day non compete, so that's mid June. And by mid June, everything's going to be different anyway. So, um, but I mean, I get him wanting to get out. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, him and Charlotte are engaged. And mm -hmm. as a family, I mean, they're going to easily be bringing in mid six figures. It's not oh, like he's oh, a as single a, as a, guy. As a, fam as a family, if you look at it that way, she's she's making seven figures. Okay, well then... So, I mean, so, so, so as far as that goes, when we're talking about that way, if they're together and, and it's one of those things where it's family income... Uh, they got nothing to worry about. She's making seven figures, and she'll make seven figures for for, year, for years on end. And he'll make money too. It's not like I mean, you know, it may, you know, it may be, um, you know, it may not be right away, but someday, J you know, Japan business will be back, and you know, at some point, AEW is going to want to bring somebody new in, and he would certainly be talented. So it's like in the law, and you know, June may be that time, and AEW is going to have another hour of TV, and who knows what else is going to happen. But um, I, I mean, in that sense, I'm not worried for him. Yeah, the it's point just, is, if he wants to wrestle, he's not going to be starving. I he's mean, not going to starve no matter there's what. There's going to be places where he can work, and where he was, he wasn't going to work. So, what do you want the guy to do? I don't want the guy to do nothing. I don't want him to waste his, his prime years and be one of those guys and, and just, you know, um, especially because he's a real talent. But, um, you know, it's, uh, I mean, like, you know, if indies were opened up and if when that happens, um, I mean, he could he could just go because, you know, there's going to be the one thing that's going to happen when indies open up is that there is going to be a need for those indie headliners, um, you know, the guys that, that go in there and draw people because many of them are tied up. You know, almost all the ones who would have been those guys uh, signed with WWE or AEW in the last year because they had to because indies were, were shutting down. So when they open up again, a guy like him, um, you know, especially like he could make a lot of money on merchandise if that's what he wants to do while waiting for something bigger to open up. But he'll, he'll, you know, he, he'll always have something. And, and, um, 
You know, I mean, he's going to be happier because if he was happy, he, he ain't asking for his release if he ain't happy. He's clearly not happy. And um, I can get not being happy. You want to be really good at this profession? I mean, the guys, the thing is, the guys who are really good at this profession, um, you know, I mean, of course, money is part of it. But, you know, money's not the be all and end all in life. It really isn't. I think. Um, and, you know, so that was his. That was his thing, and you know, I mean, it, it, he'll have places to go, and uh, he'll he'll definitely have. But, but it's a it's a rough right now. Is still a rough time. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.